Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's still hot here in the Pacific Northwest. We are melting. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the Undying Fighters of Zahn that's coming out of GL. We have a preview of some of his abilities, and we can actually break down almost all of the abilities that he's going to have. We're going to take a look at his passives, his subjobs, his main job, what we know, what we don't know, and kind of some of the things you should be excited for. He's a very unique unit, and I can't wait to get my hands on him. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so a lot of the stuff we know from the video, and that's going to be pausing the video, pulling out stills, taking a look at things uh, in regards to the units or the ability menus. First thing we know is that he has 5,604 HP. Uh, he's going to have Earth units max HP plus 10%, Earth attack plus 15, and the slash resistant piercing rate plus 20 is actually really important because the VC that's coming out for him is actually going to give slash resistance piercing plus 35 to all Earth units when it's maxed out. So Zazan potentially has the highest slash resistance piercing in the game. Now, a lot of people are saying he's going to be an evasion unit, and I'm kind of wondering with his sub job for Viking and Paladin, if instead of evasion, he might be leaning a little bit into the brawler world as well. Some people are wondering what he's equipping, and from the video, it does look like he actually is going to equip Ninja Blades, so he is, of course, going to be using Sasuke's Katana. Now, Undying Fighter, being that it's based a little bit off Ninja, we can kind of guess what some of the abilities are going to be, and we have access or have seen almost all of Zazan's abilities, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what we have here is every single ability uh, that I pulled from the stills uh, from the Zazan trailer. Uh, anything red, we don't really know. Um, blue, we do know a little bit about, and green, we know completely, almost. Uh, so taking a look first at his limit break at the top, we know it's going to be high damage, uh, max HP up large for three turns, and it's going to heal that HP. I'm really curious what the max HP large is, whether it's plus 1,000, whether it's plus 1,500. Uh, I am just really excited to kind of see. Um, taking a look at Fake Death, we do know what Fake Death is. Um, that is going to bestow re-raise on him. Uh, low Profile. Now, we didn't actually see Low Profile in the video, but we know that he is based off of Ninja's and Ninja's abilities, and it is very similar TP cost to Hide, and Hide does decrease the chance of being targeted. So it's my best estimate that Low Profile is actually just a different version of the Ninja ability Hide. Uh, we do have Backbreaker, which we know is damage large, and then Disable when attacking from behind. Uh, we have Leaping Slash, which we know nothing about. And I'm actually, this is one of the abilities I'm kind of excited for, because we seem to always have a great connection to abilities that revolve around movement and attacking. And so I'm really hoping this is something amazing. Uh, triple Split, the upgraded form of Dream Within a Dream, basically, is going to give him defense piercing, and when he's behind the enemy, it's going to give him guaranteed critical hits. I think this is really important, and I think the guaranteed critical hit is an important aspect of this, because especially in raids or PvE content, being able to guarantee a critical hit or maybe if you're paired with like Cloud, right? Or any of the other critical hit features that are coming in the future, uh, this is gonna be really great. Uh, Blade Lash, interestingly, we have not seen this, we have not seen this at play, but in the video recording, there was an ability called Ruinous Lash that was used, and it was very similar to like a two range slash attack. It says the range is three, uh, so I'm guessing it's a three square area around him and I, it might have piercing. I'm not hundred percent sure, uh, but it looked like it is going to be probably one of his bread and butter techniques. Um, Ripper is an AOE in front of the user. Um, what we saw from the video is it was two hits in front of him. Uh, so it is probably like, uh, Templars or Knight's ability with breaks where they hit the three squares in front of them, uh, horizontally. So I'm imagining that's probably what that is. Um, Kingspin Smash and Kingspin Cackle, we don't know anything about. Kingspin Cackle is really interesting because it's one TP, 
according to the video, and it has range zero and one use. So I'm kind of interested in knowing what that does. Uh, Hamstringer, very, I like the name of this and the AP cost and the amount of uses really makes me think that this is just going to be another version of Shadowbind. Again, that one I don't know for sure, but I am pretty sure that's what it means. I could see it being immobilized instead of Shadowbind. Uh, or sorry, uh, immobilized instead of stop. Uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, some of the other things that we know for sure, uh, we do know almost all of the counters and all of the support abilities he's going to get, or at least in some capacity. Uh, usually, if a job or a character is based off of a main job or they have a unique job, they will have a unique counter that's either a little bit better than the native job or it'll be something completely unique. So his main job counter would be something like Poison Bar potentially, which is a little lackluster. We do know he has access to Viking and Paladin, which means he does have access to Paladin's Guard, which I think would be his main setting. And for me, when I see Paladin's Guard, when I see access to his kit fully, I'm gonna be looking for these defense increasing abilities because I really feel like he's going to be a brawler and not an evasion unit. In terms of his support abilities, he is gonna have uh, probably some variation of the ninja ability Shadow Runner and Shikuchi, which are both amazing abilities. I wouldn't be surprised if we got like an upgraded version of Shikuchi, just because the Zan is the most mobile unit in the game uh, in his normal form. So I'm kind of curious if we're going to get an upgraded version of him uh, in this capacity. Uh, he'll get access to Viking Lore, which is HP 12%, attack 24%. Unyielding Protection will give him 15% missile resistance. And then from Paladin Support Job, he will get Holy Knight's Protection, which will give him Defense 12 and HP 12% as well. So he should have very good passives, um, especially in terms of support. So I'd be looking extremely forward to that. In terms of his sub job kit, I imagine you will be running him sub Paladin almost exclusively, um, specifically because you'll have access to Sentinel, uh, potentially Immortal Spirit. The big make or break for Sub Paladin for Zazan is going to be whether or not he does get access to Immortal Spirit, uh, because there are cases where people do have Sub Job Paladin and they do not have Immortal Spirit. Uh, so that's going to be the biggest thing that we're gonna wanna watch with him. Uh, Sub Viking could be really good if you're going for the raw damage, uh, specifically full body blow or launch with the enhanced critical hit rate. A launch could be very powerful uh, because the actual VC, uh, Moraga's VC, which gives slash attack up, when it's fully awakened, it does give Earth units critical hit rate up. So you're going to have that enhanced critical hit rate almost always because Moraga's VC is just so powerful. You're probably going to be running it with your Earth slash comp at almost all times, right? Uh, taking a look at another VC that's important, we do have the specific VC that came out um, for Global, which has the Zazan limited effect of Luck Up and Magic Attack Resistance Up. Has a lot of other things going for it. It gives HP 310, AP 20, Attack 152, uh, increases Slash Attack for the individual unit plus 10, increases Defense plus 5. Party Wide is going to give Earth Attack Up and Accuracy Up. And then Party Wide it's going to give Slash Resistance Penetration. So there is a lot going on here. And that slash resistance penetration is really important, I think, for Zazan. And why I think the combination of Zazan and this VC could be the highest slash resistance penetration potentially that we see in the game. And I do think this VC is probably a must have for him. In terms of synergies and teamwork and things to be aware of, um, Muraga VC for the Earth Element crit plus 25 for the party is going to be important. I actually think he could pair really well with Camillo uh, running the Camillo VC. It does give Earth units TP plus 25, but it also gives Earth units AoE resistance, which is really powerful, right? Uh, it actually says, so the Titan VC here, it says evasion 50, but it's evasion plus 20. Uh, so if you do end up running Zazan with an evasion build, uh, you are gonna wanna be running the evasion plus 20 Titan on one of your units in the party. And then of course the slash resistance penetration from Mon. Of course, if you do end up running him evasion, uh, Secrets of the Heart of course is going to be very important as well. In terms of Espers, I think it really comes down to Odin and Golem. I don't think we have an Esper that really suits Zazan. Uh, people might say like Tetrasilphid for evasion. I really think Zazan is going to be a brawler type unit and he's going to be utilizing Golem's defense and Golem's earth attack up 
I think like that just makes sense to me. Or if you do end up running him evasion, I could see you running Odin for the agility up and kind of trying to make things work there. One note of caution here is the amount of wind units that are coming out in the future. We have at least four EX wind units coming out over the course of the next month and a half to two months. This is substantial in a world where 2B already exists. Tifa is going to be for free. Uh, we, of course, have uh, Gargus, who's going to be free as well from the select quest. We have a archer sniper unit, Cowl, who is going to have very high accuracy if you are going up against the Zan. So just be very careful and think about whether this unit is one you want to chase because there is going to be lots of wind element futures and units in the near future. And I am very cautious and I really want to see his entire kit before I make a decision on if I need him or not. On the flip side of this, Cloud is coming out. Charlotte is coming out. We have the new Lightning Select Quest unit, whose name I can't remember right now, but her picture is right there. So Lightning is going to be coming here in the near future. So it's going to be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. I think this is a meta shaping unit, but I'm also very cautious because it seems like everything is just being thrown into chaos, which is kind of fun at the same time. Now, along with this, there are also other Earth units and Earth buffs that are coming out that could work really well with Zazan. Uh, we have the Miraga coming out. Miraga EX is going to be very powerful. We have Luel, who's already come out, who's very powerful. Uh, we have potentially uh, Bikini Lilith coming out with her EX form sometime soon. We have Christmas Venera, who will get, be getting her EX. And Ryu, Halloween Ryu, who will be getting his EX. And we're likely going to see a combination of these units over the next two months as well. So it's shaping up, it looks like, to really be almost like one of the weakest elements in the game, which has been Earth for a very long time. Uh, and people may wish to debate that, but I think it's pretty undebatable at this point. Um, one of the weakest elements Earth is actually going to be shaping up to be pretty powerful. And it... It makes sense that Wind is also going to be getting a buff to try and counter that. Uh, do I think 2B is going to kill Zazan? That's a tough question, right? Because, <laughs> because if you're going to run 2B, right, that means you are going to be scared of potentially Ice Compositions or potentially Fryevia. But then again, a lot of people probably aren't building Fryevia for accuracy. So there's just, there's so many things to think about here. Um, and looking at compositions, I'm honestly wondering if maybe, you know, high, a hybrid comp of like earth, wind, and light or something is going to be optimal in the near future. I want to try and pull something off with like Camillo, Zazan, and Luel is kind of what I'm thinking. And kind of try and shift, the, shift something here. Uh, but we'll have to wait and we'll have to see. Uh, I'd love to hear what your guys' ideas are for Zazan down in the comment section down below. As always, if you do want to support me, uh, please use my affiliate link. I am literally melting at home right now. Um, we will be pulling Zazan tonight on stream. Um, we'll also be making another video talking about, you know, is this really bad that there's so many limited units? Um, you know, all that for later today. Um, I think there's a lot to talk about there, and I know... Um, that a lot of the community is at that point because JP was at that point, right? And now it just, it makes sense that we are at that point now as well. Anyway, everybody, uh, thank you so much. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day.